Well, this evening is mostly dry for most of the wiregrass with the exception of coffee and Pike counties where we still have some light to moderate rain at least in the western part of the area stretching from Pike County down into basically just uh, just to the east of Elba down into Goodman and also maybe some light shower activity in Enterprise. Some of this more to the east is likely not making its way to the ground and overnight conditions will be drying out, but the humidity is going to be staying with us. So temperatures tomorrow morning are going to be on the mild side and tomorrow Tomorrow afternoon we will make it into the lower 90s with those showers and storms moving through once they do move through your area. Those temperatures will likely drop off a bit. Peak rain chances will likely be in the later afternoon into the early evening. High temperatures right around 90 for us here in Dothan. Overall, the temperature trend over the next couple of days will be going up 92 degrees by Thursday, 94 for Friday, and that's when conditions will be mostly dry. Rain chances will increase just a little bit as we head into the weekend, but right around typical ranges, not quite as elevated as where they will be for Tuesday and for Wednesday afternoon. Across the southeast, we do have quite a bit of activity still on the radar. We have a cold front to our north and high pressure to the southwest. That's going to help the funnel in some Gulf moisture over the next couple of days, and those rain chances will stay pretty high basically until that cold front is able to slide just to the south of us over the next uh, couple of days, likely into the later part of the work week. For Tuesday, 215 scattered showers and storms across the region. Best chance at that time will be down to the south of us, and then you're pretty much here and there and maybe anywhere as we head through the eve early uh, later afternoon and into the early evening hours and then Wednesday starting out pretty dry and mix of sun and clouds to start the day. That front's going to be a little bit closer to us, so those rain chances will be more concentrated in the southern part of Alabama, southern Georgia and into the Florida Panhandle, Birmingham, Atlanta, Tupelo points northward likely dry for Wednesday as far as where we're looking for things to develop for tonight. Pretty much clearing out. There's a chance we could have a few more stray showers, but overall starting out Tuesday pretty dry, and then it's in the afternoon when we'll have those pockets of some pretty heavy rain. Keep an eye to the sky if you do have any kind of outdoor plans across the region. Those temperatures will be still in the 70s as we head into midnight for tomorrow, and then Wednesday starting out dry, then it's in the afternoon when those storm chances will be on the increase. For tonight, 75 degrees for that low temperature. A few isolated storms are still going to be possible, mostly cloudy skies and those mostly cloudy skies will be with us for Tuesday and for Wednesday. Slightly lower rain chances as we head into Thursday, right around a 30%. And then it looks like Friday is going to be mostly dry. Then as we head into the weekend, those rain chances will tick up just a hair. That will cool those temperatures up a little bit. It looks like the hottest day of the week will be Friday. Every weekend.